Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Deus Ex. You might notice that we are not precisely where we left off last time. That's because I realized, wait a minute, I never actually got through this door. So, yeah, I mean, we could, we could spend a couple of, of multi-tools on this, or I could probably check my document to see if I know the code to this, although I think this was one of the ones where the code isn't actually in the game, and it also isn't an am amusing little reference like the 007 code. Or. Or. There we go. That also works. And in here is stuff I can't even grab, and also the first augmentation upgrade canister in the game. Couldn't fucking miss that, now could I? Yoink! There we go! It was surprisingly difficult to find my way back here, to be honest. But now that I have, time to go all the way back. Fun! And here we go. Fast boarding. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. Okay, there we go. Now we finally caught up with where we were last time. With a couple of additions. There's probably other stuff that I missed, but that's the important stuff. I forget, can I upgrade my things without... Yes, okay. I don't have to be at a augmentation thing to upgrade them. I forgot whether that was the case. Hmm. I could go for that, but I think I'll save it for the speed upgrade. Alright, here we go. Time to get debrief. Welcome back. Your mission was Hi. a success. Just about the only bright side of the operation, unfortunately. Report to Manderley for a briefing. Men in black, eh? Bodyguard. Mr. Dan. Yeah? Huh? The prisoners on level 3 are a sensitive matter. Leave the interrogations to Mr. Simons. You are authorized to receive your orders from Joseph Manderley, after which you will return to the helipad. Simons? You guys from DC? What agency? Please proceed to Manderley's office. We will expect to see you shortly. Well, that's a fucking robotic ass voice. And I know that's not like a. Uh, consequence of the augment. They're clearly capable of having augmentation that doesn't make you sound like a fucking robot. So maybe they are just straight up robots. Do not question the prisoners yourself. Or they're deliberately doing that as a way of, I don't know, making them sound more intimidating? Ooh. 
That's not exactly gonna help on the propaganda front, though. Let's see, anything new here? Oh, -hoo. hi there. Janine, Janine spot. Expect an overview. Matsu Gravis R one one eight repair bot. The, the that is a characteristic of all bots in the MG repair line. An autonomous unit capable of a wide range of repair, maintenance, and construction tasks. You know what? I'm gonna go somewhere else and read that because it's unpleasant. There we go. By default, it's equipped with a Kroya Searchlight 3 Argon Laser attached to the standard MG IRL arm, as opposed to on the internet or in or fictional arm. Chiang Optics and Visual Processing, a self-recharging bioelectric battery. Self-recharging? How the fuck is it? How the fuck does it self-recharge? Like, does it have some sort of reactor or power or something in there? Does it run off of... Like, what does it run off of? Wireless command control and 16 gigabytes of internal memory. Ooh. For a superior amount of task customization at an affordable price. The bioelectric interface ad adheres to the same light standard pioneered by MG and adopted by most other companies around the world, allowing all units in the R line to act as mobile bioelectric recharges if necessary. 16 gigabytes of internal memory. Honestly, for a for a hmm. I was about to make a joke about it being, you know, futuristic back then, but for a for a simple robot like this, maybe that do, maybe that does sound like a lot. I'm not entirely certain. We lost a buddy of ours in the park in Hell's Kitchen. Guess there wasn't much you could do. No, honestly, Hell's Kitchen was a fucking madhouse. It was insane. It was utterly nuts what was happening there. I don't really don't worry understand about it. What the guys are saying about Hell's Kitchen. <clears throat> All right. Manderly <laughs> said he's busy, but to wait outside his office. Don't listen to what they're saying about the shootout in the park in Hell's Kitchen. You had other priorities. Quite so. Oh, hello. Bunch of this stuff has respawned. Very nice. Lock quick there. Was there anything else in there? Wait, I think there was something else in there. Hang on. Yeah, there was a multi-tool, I think. I'm doing a fucking good job of Conserving. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Well, you ain't. Probably not worth the trouble, or the picks, but I might as well check to see what it is. Recoil. Yeah, I don't give a shit. A lot of weapon modifications are not really useful for this sort of playstyle, the stealthy, non-lethal sort. Agent Navarro was gunning her motors about Castle Clinton. I guess she cleaned the place out. Apparently. Millennium Magazine. Bob Page. Will Aquinas change the world? Experts debate. World of unlimited bandwidth. <laughs> yeah, that and a that and a buck fifty will get you a candy bar. 
Resurgence in world terrorism. <laughs> that sounds like the, t the world is terrorizing people, which... Yeah, that's not unlikely. I mean, the world is a vampire, after all. Hi. Well, see ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. I wanna get this leg fixed. Full of it. Earlier tonight, in the statue, I bet you had at least half a dozen takedowns. At least. Indeed. Hang on a second. Stack binoculars on top of binoculars. Why not? Uh, this is the wrong way. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Well, while well, I'm here. No, looks like we're all down here. Okay. I meant to go to the med lab. Med lab. That doesn't sound right. You know what I mean. Here we go. Let's heal all. Nice. And the obvious oh, choice. Ionic polymeric gel myofibrils are woven into the leg muscles, increasing the speed at which an agent can run and climb, the height they can jump, and reducing the damage they receive from falls. Oh yeah. Star Wars, baby. It's just such a shame there's only one leg slot. Oh well. Now I should really actually give them usable bindings. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Now... Oh yeah! Check that out! And finally jump a decent height. Washington now. Well, it's not a huge difference. But it's there. Alright. Oh, right. I still haven't used the grade I need it. There we go. And now... Oh, yeah! I'm hitting the fucking healing now. I am I'd like to know what the fence are doing down in the cell block. Oh, yeah. Star Wars, baby. Looks pretty bad down here. Keeps getting worse, too. It must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot in your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. That's rough. You know. It's easier to forgive yourself for being wrong. Than it is to forgive yourself for being right. You know? Doing everything right and still failing. Pretty rough. Anything new in here? Electric cell. Nah. You got anything? He's gone. What? Okay, maybe he's on break or something. Well, while well, he's gone, might as well snack his multi tool, I suppose. <laughs> See what's going on here. I was here first. Okay, Mr. Not a competition. Mandalay is in a meeting, JC. You'll have to wait. 
I was told to report for a debriefing. A debriefing. Do not worry, you passed every test. You will be a most effective weapon for the Coalition. It sounded like she was correcting his pronunciation of debriefing there. Be quiet. I'm trying to listen. You'll have to wait a minute. Mr. Mandley is busy. Just oh. fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother. And more on the way. He knows nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. Look, I understand. He was your pet project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost... Paul lost the second I know, shipment, I know. does he? I will comply with the order. That's Ready? all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. I was never here. <laughs> I was never in, uh, eavesdropping. What are you talking about? What was that weird running rush? I cannot wait. Agent Denton, at your service. Denton. Yes, I hear you're turning out to be quite an asset to the Coalition. Doing my best, sir. Forgive me, but I do not believe I know your name. We aren't ready for an introduction yet. No, it's not time. Just keep your nose to the pavement. You'll be well rewarded. Trust me. Well, that ain't suspicious in the slightest. I am mixed. You aren't needed, Agent. Well, see ya, Navarre. Oh, yoink. Hello, JC. Come in. Clerical task first. Your op bonus is split between the Castle Clinton and Warehouse objectives, 500 each. You get the full 1,000 plus 200 for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. <laughs> that janky nonsense. Across the board. Thank you, sir. Hey, then. Who is that you were meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. The mission failed. I would have taken out that Jojo punk, but he wasn't even in the warehouse. Never mind that. He slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. We got nothing, and he's taking the heat this time. The Coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? We don't know. He hasn't reported back. The rest of the strike force says he lost his nerve. I think he was trying to avoid casualties. In Hell's Kitchen, instead of clips for the troops, he was issuing tear gas. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance if to retake that shipment. If he hasn't... Has it been located? Get any equipment you need from Carter. Then take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane, but we don't know which airfield. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways. The abandoned parts of the infrastructure. I'll check out the subways. I have been waiting for 20 minutes. Sorry, Anna. What is it? A new assignment. I think Agent Denton should handle the assassination. Is there a problem? You lost your appetite? His enthusiasm in Battery Park was exceptional. The courtyard to Castle Clinton was a graveyard. This again. Hmm. This kind of an exercise, you mean? I think he will make a good assassin. We should give him the opportunity. Hmm. Our pilot jock is waiting for you at the helipad. Having him like, getting praised for killing everyone when I didn't kill anyone. I am right. anxious to see Ooh, what's one this? Of experimental agents perform. No new messages. Okay. You aren't alone, Anna. So. You have your orders for Mr. Manderley. So yeah, our brother Paul apparently failed to get the shipment and he hasn't reported back in. I mean, first of all, has anyone <laughs> thought of that maybe something <laughs> terrible has happened to him? May maybe. Get moving. Shut up. I'm monologuing here. And secondly, like... What if he was just, you know, you think like, oh, he lost his nerve. But what if he was just going in all sneaky-like and he c can't contact us because they have, I don't know, signal jammers. Or maybe they'd, be, they'd notice the, tra the signal traffic somehow. You know, there's a lot of explanations for this, but you're just jumping to letting him go. Which I assume means firing him. And not just letting him do whatever the fuck he wants. Nah, well. 
Hope this one turns out a little better. That's politics for you. The slightest... Uh, it's either they can get away with murder or the slightest hint of weakness and they get booted out instantly. Your chopper's ready, Agent. It's... I'd like eclectic. to know what the feds are doing down in the cell block. Oh, good point. That guy did say he was going to interrogate the prisoners. Let's go and watch. Ah, fuck. Turned on the speed right as oh, soon as... This one turns out a little better. Got, uh, the... The, uh, loading zone hit. You have your orders from Mr. Manor. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, Agent. Here we go. I have one question. They already asked. I don't know. One must admire a man who can keep a secret because he has value. What you know more than others makes money and gives you a measure of power. <laughs> you Walton Simons, you think I could be bribed? Margaret Forsyth under NSF protection in Queens. Your son Richard attending Bronx Science. You see, I have a few relevant facts myself. Care to make a trade? You wouldn't dare. I'll give you two seconds to decide. Get out of here, Denton. This is none of your business. Okay then. Just you know, casually I won't threatening say people. I think you should go. Families. <laughs> you know, this isn't sketchy in the slightest. Get Remember. moving. We're the good guy. lost guys. a buddy of ours in the park in Hell's Kitchen. Guess there wasn't much you could do. I mean... But, uh, yeah, this is... In my experience, how these government agencies operate. Just casually breaking the law because they can get away with it. And, and not to mention all sorts of ethical... Constraints. Your chopper's ready, Agent. Get on the helicopter, Mr. Denton. I'd like to know what the feds are doing down here. I mean, for, I mean, like, also, there's all sorts of interrogation techniques that we've known for absolute fucking ages are not only unethical, but not really eff very effective either. But they, but they still continued using them. Why? Because they can. That's why. All right, let's go. Let's go. But that's what I said. I love how they pan out like that when you're when you're leaving on the helicopter, as if that doesn't show how uh, weird the maps look from above. We're dropping you in battle. Very bold. bold. We know the NSF were moving materia through here at one point. Seems materia. like a good place to start looking. Pretty sure that, that was supposed to be materials, not materia. <laughs> Judging by the subtitles. Oh well. Uh, yo. We lost the battle today. I admit it. Yes, Lord. You with the NSF? Had myself a division, mind you, back when we were the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Years ago. They thought they had us licked. Like they think they have us licked tonight. But look at me, young sir. We're God's army. And what infernal devil can stop God's army? I mean, the Crusades well, got stopped a bunch care of yourself. times, but... Found me two 30-06 clips. Now all I need's a gun, and then it's me and Satan. Yes, Satan. One last look into the devil's red eyes. Sounds like you served God admirably in the Northwest War. But maybe you should let a soldier from the younger generation take the clips off your hands. What do you want for him? Huh? You mean money? You want to buy him? No, I mean Pia. Well, guess I'd take about 300 for each one. Well, I have almost no use for these. Maybe no use at all for them, but... I should probably take these off his hands. 
Call it uh, an act of charity, or perhaps a public service. I'll take both of them for 600. Praise heaven. Don't want him starting a shooting spree or anything. Hey, you a cop? The terrorist got away. Oh. 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 Thank you again. My hands get so cold. Yeah, like I said, we'll probably both get kicked out when whoever it is gets back. I live underground. All the same. I can think of safer places to camp. After all the fighting tonight. Eh, yeah, cops said I could be here. Besides, I ain't camping. I'm with the mole people. Why the name mole people? Yes. They call us that because we live underground. <laughs> Like they're some kind of superior beings or something because they got more money than we do. Maybe you should join your people. Anywhere underground would be safer than Battery Park. The moles need someone topside. And besides, it's been pretty quiet. I'd rather be here than have the NSF tromping around with machine guns. The NSF are hiding out with the mole people? Yeah, they haven't hurt anybody. We guess it's all right. I need to contact the NSF. Think you could tell me how to find the moles? Sure. Just give me the password so I know they trust you. Underworld. Good. Long as they decided to give you access. Go to the phone booth in the subway station. The code's M O L E. That's 665 Tree. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, when you get to the Brooklyn Bridge station, talk to Charlie. He'll get you into the tunnels where we live. All right. Think it's true the vaccine they got? Think it'd really kill you? It's super concentrated. I heard the NSF talking. They're gonna process it though. I hope so. I can't go much longer. I quite like Curly's voice acting there. I think whoever did that did a pretty damn good job. Especially compared to some of the other voice acting in this game. Uh, like, these suffering women. Somehow their moans sound sarcastic. I don't know how, but that's just the feeling I get from them. Oh, hello. You have a name. Thanks again for the key. It wasn't a favor. I was well paid. A real patriot. I see it like this. It all balances out. Yanako's just as much gun freaks as the militias. And if everybody's gonna shoot it out, fine. So long as neither side wins and takes over the whole country. The goal of Yanako is not conquest. It's the safety of ordinary people like yourself. <laughs> I know an army when I see one. Look, I'll be blunt. Got any cash? There's a secret passage behind that phone booth over there. For 500, I'll tell you where to get the code. I already got the code to the phone booth, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy that gave me the code back in the first level, if I recall. Or not the code, the key. Alright then. Dial 6653 for mole then. Not the most secure of passwords, but it's one that you can rem remember easily, which is half the battle. Then again, it's a four-digit code. It's not that hard to remember. Even if all the random series of numbers. But I guess this will value a bit of a uh, thematic. Yes. After the quakes, the homeless the drifted security. down here. Junkies, runaways, grifters. There's a DSS file a mile long on this place. Some of them, the so-called mole people, have permanent living quarters in an adjacent tunnel system not on my map. Huh. I mean, to be fair, it's a four-digit code. It's never gonna be that secure. <laughs> you know? There's only a thousand combinations. You could brute force that in a matter of minutes. Not to mention a couple of multi tools. So it's Mostly a matter of just keeping keeping out people who aren't really determined to get in. Hola, bro. What is it? You on Rook's territory now. Just so you know. You call yourselves Rooks? Odd That's name. right. Up here, it's business. You want to do business? Talk to Will Ray. I'll keep that in mind. Is this some sort of chess metaphor? God, I hope not. Those are never clever. Certainly not a... Certainly not a, 
certainly not half as clever as they seem to think they are. Oh, <laughs> I've maxed out on multi-tools. All right, I should probably be using those a bit more. What's up? Just take it easy, bro. Be cool. Okay. You want to talk to El Rey? That's cool. Interesting uniforms. Hope you don't mind me robbing you. Yo. Hey, bro, what's with the get up? I'm from out of town. I hear the NSF are operating around here somewhere. Know anything about it? I guess I've seen them, but that's it. You a militia type? I can hook you up with some explosives. Ooh. Serious stuff. That's my kind of jam. How much? Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't talking firecrackers, understand? What I got, it comes from a guy at UNATCO. Hardcore munitions and shit. How much? I got a lamp. You know what that is? Seven fifty. Pretty steep for secondhand goods. Quite. Either that or you work for it. You in the fighting? I need someone to take care of the dealer downstairs. Alright. Sure, I'll why take not? out the drug dealer. Dealer's Public service. Name's Rock. He hangs out on the east side in the corner. Rock is an enemy of the rooks? Funny that. Oh yeah, here we go. Gang violence. My favorite kind of violence. I'm looking Homeless. for the mole people. You don't want to camp with them. Trust me, they're too political. <laughs> I don't need a place to camp. I started the mole people. I was there first. And then they made up committees that throw people out just because they don't like the way you uh, look. That's always how, how it goes. Don't bother. They're elitist. And now the NSF is down there, too. Yeah. That's how it goes with all these sort of organizations. You know, like the mole people, conglomerations of beggars, unions, that sort of thing. It's, you know, they start out as just the you know, loose conglomeration of people who just who realize, hey, we're gonna be... The doctors in that clinic. In, uh, apes together critics. strong and all that. Uh, but then it gets all political and shit, and they start throwing people out for, like you said, for not because they don't like the way they look, or they pissed off the wrong person, or whatever, and then it gets all nepotistic and corrupt and shit. And then the very people that started it wind up being kicked out in. Due to bull uh, bullshit pol politics or purity spirals or p corrupt nonsense, or to make way for nepotism. Oh ah, well. Yo. I'm gonna kill Rock. Oh, I can help you with that. You have a problem? Get out! I got a bomb. A bomb's a bad choice for close-range combat. Indeed. Might as well use it. Rock says I owe him. He won't even give me one vial for it. What kind of bomb? I think they said it was called a lamb. That's a... <laughs> Apparently valued at around 750 credits. Huh. Suppose I could part with a vial of Zyme if you'll give me the lamb. Y you got some? Really? No. Yeah. Let's see the lamb. Take it, man. Whatever. Where's the Zyme? Hope it lasts. Oh, I did have Zyme? Oh, right. I now I remember. I got some in that one... Bathroom. <sighs> Ages ago. Hey. Leave me alone. Yeah, fair enough. You are in the bathroom. <laughs> Anything else here? Secret passageways or some shit? Doesn't seem like it. Wait. No. Better. Much better. I mean, not sure that was a good idea given someone drugs and such, but getting getting a bomb away from a crazy drug addict is probably also a public service. Don. Hey man, you got any zyme? Don't have any zyme. Just a little bit. A crumb. I said you're out of luck. Amen. 
Okay then. Let's see, is that the drug dealer? He looks ridiculous. What you Enough. need, bro? Vials of two fifty. Know where I can find the mole people? Good neighbors keep each other's business private. You want to set a price? I'm a good neighbor. <laughs> you want to buy something or not? Fair enough. <laughs> I'm with you, Natco. Start talking. I ain't going back to jail. Let's try some word association. First word, ambrosia. Bitch, I ain't going back to jail. Hey, hey! hey. Yeah, fuck a bad idea. What you need, bro? What do you know about a gang called the Rooks? Gang? Who calls them a gang? Just what I heard. Bunch of pussycats. I come within 50 yards. They scatter. Seems that other people aren't so lucky. I always talking big, trying to be players. The junkies found a box of lambs the other day. Now L. Ray puts on the show of being an arms dealer. The junkies? Oh, sure. Only a matter of time until someone's stash disappears and people start blowing up. Interesting. Rock's the name. Me. Where, where the hell did they get a box full of lambs then? Anyways. Ooh. There we go. Oh, Zyme. Double Zyme, in fact. <laughs> now I'm the drug dealer. Hey man, you got any Zyme? I hear someone found a box of lambs down here. A grenades? Oh yeah, but they're all gone now. Where'd they go? A lot of people took them, but not me. I was too late. Who? Anyone still have one? Yeah, with my friend Lenny. Except he got sick. I don't know where he went. Anyone oh, else? I know where he went. I think most people sold him to the NSF, but not me. That's why I'm broke. You gotta help me get some Zyme. Rock's all high and mighty now that there's money going around. Take a vial. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Now maybe you can calm down for a second and tell me how to get to the mole people hideout. Yeah, sure. They're in the tunnels. That doesn't help. And? The keypad's under the sink, in the woman's bathroom. Everybody knows that. The code? Got me. The mole people uh -huh. keep me out because they don't like Zyme. Bloody typical. Okay. So I got information that I probably could have gotten in like two minutes on my own. And not the stuff that would actually be important. Speaking of which, I should really have been like hacking these terminals more often. Not that I have much need for credits. I got rid of the dealer downstairs. Knocked him unconscious, flat on his back. Unconscious? You deaf? I said I want homeboy dead. You're gonna survive on the street, bro. You gotta have some sense. Like what I tell my crew. No mercy. When it's you and the enemy, no mercy. I used as much force as the situation required. You trying to lecture me on tactics? Take it easy. We work it out. I get one of my boys to finish the hit. Good enough? That guy? He's been in my way for months. Now I got the whole station. You can have the lamp. Now I can afford me a Gep gun. <laughs> a Gep gun is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. But all right then. I mean, I t I figured you would have appreciated having him alive uh, because that would allow you to, you know, deal with him as you see fit. But oh well, I guess you don't have a taste for the finer things in life. Hmm, that's quite a lot for, you know what I mean. Also, there's the fact that I haven't killed anyone so far, and I'm not gonna stop that streak for that. Certainly not for a lamb. Hi, honey. Yo. Okay. Oi, how about you? I hear the NSF are using the mole people hideout as a base. Who the fuck starts a competition like that? We don't need a war <laughs> down here. 
I work for UNATCO. Well, the NSF come through here, but they don't bother us. If we need help with anything, it's our plumbing. We lost pressure because of the explosions on South Street. Tough break. You tell me about the NSF, and I'll put in a word with the city about the water. The city huh. don't know we got water, and they don't need to know. How about you fix it, and then I'll talk. I don't have much time. I would open the valve myself, but there was a cave-in. Utility doors blocked. It's up at the north end of the tracks, in case you want to take a look. Clearing a tunnel. That would require explosives. It could be done. A lamb would do the trick. It's just that I'm not gonna be the one to talk to the rooks. They'd probably sell us one, but they don't like people going into their turf. Which is the whole upper level. <laughs> well... I do have a couple of lambs somewhere around here. But I've also got... Well, even better. <laughs> a baton! No. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Alright. Time for the adventures of JC Denton, amateur plumber. Actually, you know, the difference. Does it count as being a professional if you're not being paid in cash, but rather. Secrets? I don't know. Shit. But at least we'll be sure. And I'm stuck. Wait. No, I'm not stuck. Nope. Really easy to flip all of that. Okay. Damn it. Come on. Ah. Flip slide in a way. Flip slide in a way. You know, the near your destination, the more you slip slide in a way. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Voila. And there we go. Easy peasy. Done in like two minutes flat. The water line should be open now. Done in one if I had Good. Slipped. Glad to see you, you Netco boys, do something for the community. Now, can you tell community. me about the NSF? The NSF? Yeah, they took over our tunnels. How do I get there? Go to the women's restroom on the other side of the station. Look for a keypad under the sink. Combinations 5482. Great. I'm glad I can help you out. Alright. The wheat. What are my skill points looking like? Well, I'm not going to get into master low attack anytime soon. Certainly. Or leveling up Octavian Electronics and uh what else is there? I could level swimming again. Yeah Good idea. Swimming is after all the most important skill in the game. Always, always, always level swimming. Otherwise you're an idiot. Ha! <laughs> Fancy. Alright. We've got access to... The Mole People's Tunnels. Which again, is a pretty rude term for them, but alright. Alright, so we're gonna be delving into the, into the tunnels and dealing with... Take the fight to the NSF once again next time. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, D.
dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.